hello hello everyone how are you all good morning good afternoon my time good evening good day hola come stay it's Thursday for the Cambodians I hope you are all having a very very wonderful day and a blessed day oh I am blessed I cannot complain <laughs> Oh my goodness, today has been um, a day of, of a lot of things that were going on, but I thank God at least I've been able like to accomplish most of the things that were in my calendar today, and I thank God. It's very, very cold here in Washington, Seattle. Oh my goodness, the temperatures are really, really low. It's really, really cold. Cold, 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 ice cold, I would say. But all in all, in essence, I'm grateful to God. I cannot complain. And um, yeah, here I am tonight. I want to continue encouraging you, uh, those who have uh, had an opportunity to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope God is blessing you through the daily word that I've been trying to post every day. I know it takes a lot of hard work <laughs> because sometimes our schedule, at least my schedule sometimes can be very, very busy during the day. And still, even with that, I try to find just a few minutes. I try to spare a few minutes just to come here and, uh, you know, uh, talk to my family, yeah, my Christian family. And uh, I am really happy to do so. Um, I just wanted, first of all, to thank God for this day. Uh, this There is a celebration here today that, uh, you know, is being observed here. It's a public holiday here in the U.S. But, uh, you know, things have to be done. People have, to go, have got to do whatever they have to do. I'm sure for those who have ever read the history, they have ever heard of a personality, someone who was called Martin Luther King Jr. I'm not going to say anything much about that. You can do your own research and uh, try to understand a little bit of the history here of America, here in U.S., what he did, uh, what causes he fought for. Yeah, just for personal knowledge, it's good to know. Uh, but other than that, um, today um, I have uh, a special prayer that I want to dedicate. And um, I want to dedicate this Psalm 35 to God and to everyone who believes that God is able to change situations. Whatever kind of situation, my brother, my sister, you may be going through, I just want us to read through this psalm and the Lord God can continue fighting for your battles. Uh, we need sometimes to appeal only to one who hears us most, our most high God, just like David <laughs> was able to do so many years ago and was able to appeal a cause to God for justice and he was asking for some justice through situations that he was going through. And uh, this is my prayer for each one of you. Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and bakra and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my heart. Let them be chaff before the weed and let the angel of the Lord chase him, chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. 
let destruction come upon him at unawares and let him know that he hath hid cut himself into that very destruction let him fall and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord it shall rejoice in his salvation all my bones shall say Lord who is like unto thee which deliver deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him yea the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him false witnesses did lies up they read to my charge things that i knew not they rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul but as for me when they were sick my clothing was sacroth i humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yeah, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew if not, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in fists, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Let's kill my soul from their distractions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee thanks in the great congregation and i will give you thanks in the great congregation i will praise thee among much people let not them that are mine enemies long long free rejoice over me neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause for they speak not peace but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the lord yea they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen it, O Lord. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep not silence. O Lord, be not far from me. Stall up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me. O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine heart. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pressure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all day long. Amen. 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 To that powerful Psalm 35 is a very powerful Psalm. Whenever you're fighting or going through a spiritual warfare or fighting battles that are really hard, whenever you feel like uh, you have a heavy spirit in your heart and that the enemy is trying to fight you hard, this is a very powerful prayer before the Lord our God who is the King of Kings to come before him with in order for you to surrender everything in the mighty hearts of God. The Bible tells us that vengeance does not belong to us, it belongs to God. My brother, my sister, I don't know what battle you are going through. I do not know what your situation is tonight, but I'm coming to you here, speaking word of faith, saying that God will make a way for you. And whatever you're going through, my brother, my sister, as long as your heart is clean and is pure, as long as you do not have any sin in your heart, as long as you're trusting in the Jehovah God, your creator, who you know who created you and who 
favored you at a time like this no matter what your situation is remember you are favored because you have the blood of life you have the gift of life it's up to you my brother my sister to stand up in faith and in boldness and to tell god that god fight my battles god contend with those who contend against me god fight for me every situation oh god whatever the enemy is trying to do oh god be the one to go ahead of me behind me and in front of me and aside of me so that there will be confusion in their camp of the enemy and i will remain strong and i'll remain assured that god I am strong in you. Your word empowers me. Your word encourages me, O oh Jehovah God, to be able to move on and to march on. I thank you, God, for this word. I thank you, Father, because these battles do not belong to us. And let this Psalm 35, O oh God, be an eye opener to my brother, to my sister somewhere who will come across my YouTube who may be going through a situation. Remind them that you are the author and the finisher of everything and that God, you are taking care of everything. No matter what the camp and the enemy is planning, God, you are able, you are able to destroy everything that is not of God. Father, remember them that are sick. Father, remember them that are suffering. Father, remember them that have a confusion in their hearts, in their minds, in every sphere of their life, O oh God, and strengthen them, O oh God. Let the enemy know that uh, he's a loser, and let the enemy know that the children of God will be left free. The children of God will be let free because they, there is a God who has a greater purpose and plan in their lives. As the word of God also in Jeremiah 29 uh, verses 11 tells us that God has greater plans for us. He knows us. He has destined, he knows what he has for us. He has planned for us a good future. A bright future, oh God, that we may remember, God, that you are with us, you are walking with us. And no matter what situations we are going through, we may allow you to fight this battle with us. Thank you so much for this word. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for strengthening, strengthening us, even for people who may have done bad things to you. Forgive them, my brother, my sister. Let go and allow God to be. For anyone who has done something that you're still carrying with a heavy heart, Father God, I, I pray for my brother, I pray for my sister that they may be able to let go so that they can allow you to come in their lives and to start continuously doing the good work that you have started in their lives. I thank you, O oh God. I give you all the praise, O oh Rabasheka Zatarabazeka. I thank you, I honor you, and I give you all the glory. Thank you even for this day. Thank you for all your provisions. Thank you for all your favors. Thank you for all, all your mercy. Thank you for each and everything you do for us, O oh God, in our lives. That reminds us that, Father, we need to become small, and you, you need to become greater in our lives. Thank you, O oh God. I bless you, I thank you, I glorify and magnify your holy name. Receive all the glory, receive all the power, receive all the honor, O Jehovah God, you the King of kings. And it is in Jesus' mighty name I pray and believe. Amen and amen. My brother, my sister, be encouraged with this word. Please share my YouTube channel. As I shared for those who may have heard, I am trying to make this YouTube channel grow so that I can share the word of God. I don't care. I'm not intending to monetize it or get anything from it, but I just want to share the word of God. I just want to be coming here and sharing the word of God, that which God gives me whenever I am able to share. So be blessed and have a good day. And may God bless you. May God see you through. May God continuously fight all those battles on your behalf amen and amen this is your sister joy signing out off signing off and saying shalom 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 till next time shalom amen